Pakistan is in desperate need tonight after weeks of deadly monsoon rains. People in Baton Rouge are feeling the impact overseas. Fox 44's Anam Siddiqui had a chance to speak with some local leaders working to try and send relief on exactly what is going on in Pakistan. Well, Kellyanne, since June, Pakistan has been hit with deadly monsoons. Now, take a look at these images behind me from NASA. This is a photo before the flooding, and now this is the latest images showing the impacts of flooding. Rivers are out of their banks and spread across floodplains. I spoke to a Baton Rouge resident who has family in Pakistan. He tells me parts of the country do not even exist anymore. Powerful monsoons destroying buildings and people risking it all to survive. Pakistan is facing deadly floodings, claiming more than 1,100 lives and impacting millions. Experts say one third of the country is underwater. To put that into perspective, that is if nearly the entire state of Wyoming was filled with water. The hundred of villages. Away. Imtiaz Ahmed has family in Lahore, Pakistan, a few hours away from the devastation. But he says his family is feeling the tragedy. Many people migrated to our city. Hundreds of families, they are sitting on the road, side roads, you know. They give people shelter in their own homes. But everybody have a big heart over there. The Baton Rouge Islamic Center is raising money, accepting water and clothes for donations. We already raised about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars already for that cause. Pakistani leaders say this is one of the most destructive events in history. Reports from the Pakistan National Disaster Management Authority show rainfall has been 500 percent above average, destroying villages and livestock. Experts say years of glaciers melting contributes to heavy rainfall. The country is seeking millions in international aid. We can sit back and say it's not my business. From our perspective in Baton Rouge, we are trying to respond to the call of the people in Pakistan. Ahmed's brother in Pakistan is boots on the ground. His brother says recovery will be even worse. People are going to get sick. They need medications. They need a lot of things. And, and I'm very happy people all around the world, they're helping. The Islamic Center is accepting donations for Pakistan and Mississippi floods. We have a full list of where you can donate posted online at BeOurProud.com. I'm Siddiqui, Fox 44 News. Yeah, we certainly need some help.